Hey guys, I hope you've been doing well. As of yesterday, the new Mac OS Catalina is out for the public and this time it's a non-beta version. So there should not be too many bugs. I use a 27 inch 5K iMac, a mid-2017 model. And today we are doing a Geekbench test, first on Mojave and then on Catalina. Off we go. My Mac originally came with High Sierra and last year, when I updated to Mahawe, I did feel a little underwhelmed. I have to be honest, the hourglass showed up a little more often, especially when I was using iMovie. And now, I was skeptical whether or not to update to the latest macOS. Obviously, it's always a little tempting with all the new stuff we can do and above everything else, the security, you see. When we don't update to the latest OS, we compromise on the security. So we need to figure out whether we need to skip the update or get an antivirus or get the update anyway. Anyway, I did some probing and then I decided to give it a shot. Whatever. So here we have a score of 774 for single core and 2562 for multi-core. Now let's check Catalina. It's a whooping 8 gigs download, so that's gonna take some time. So let's go ahead and install this. Okay, here we have the latest Catalina. And let's get to work and run the Geekbench. It is said that Geekbench works best when all the other applications are not running. But in both the cases, I was running quick time to record the screen so the ground really is even in both the cases. And here I can actually feel that the process is going on a little bit faster. And here we go, we have a score of 886 for single core and 3177 for multi core. That's a considerable jump for multi and a good jump for single core as well. And honestly, I am very happy and surprised at the same time that the performance has actually improved. The score with High Sierra for this model is supposed to be around 924 for single core and 3200 for multi core. And I have to say, Catalina has brought the figure really close to that of a new machine. So this is about the Geekbench score, so I'm going to just go ahead and check out some apps opening and closing. Feel free to stick around. What I feel is that the animation time has been reduced and the applications are really snappy. It does feel that they load faster. You know, the same way iOS 13 has felt. In fact, on my iPhone 10, it feels buttery with reduced animations. And the scores don't lie either, right? So there is a noticeable bump in the performance and if you have a compatible device, I would recommend that you update to Catalina. And hey, it is always better to check Reddit for your specific model. But if you are using a mid-2017 iMac, just update to Catalina with your eyes closed. Thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day ahead. Peace.